and we're back, fellow knife enthusiast. C and Joel. Just Joel here. AK Blade has done it again. Just for you. Today we're featuring the newest gear and blades. Ah. From Buck and Kaiser. Maxis and Honey Badger. Williamson, Copenhagen, and CBRB. Gerber and Cancet. I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, trying to jump the gun there because, man, every week here is like Christmas. It is. So let's not waste any time and go to the new Buck Paradigm. Wow. Okay. So we'll do the specs. Here we go. Comes in black or brown. Really? There you go. Yeah. As well as automatic and non automatic. We got both models of the non automatic here because we live in Virginia. So, we don't allow fun. Not a no fun in Virginia. No fun zone no, right here. No, 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 no. Don't you complain either, buddy. So it's just a touch under 7.5 inch overall with a 3 inch S35 VN drop point blade. That's about an inch in width, you'd say? Yeah. And 0.12 in thickness. It also has a hollow grind, plain edge, Buck's Boss BOS heat treatment, satin finish on all models. Handle is either the brown G10 or black G10. Brown model, of course, has the brown Cerakote bolster, while the black has the black Cerakote bolster. Both of these feature Buck's patented shift mechanism, which not only locks the blade when open, but also prevents accidental opening when the blade is closed. Yeah, when I see BOS, I think of Red Sox. Do you? Yeah, because of Boston, that's there. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, that's, what, that's exactly what I think of, too. The blade is open by rotating the bolster and pushing the gym flipper stud to close, rotate bolster, and manually close. Each knife, along with the shift mechanism, also has assisted opening for an even more swift and secure deployment and lockup. Each one sports a deep carry black finish, reversible pocket clip, comes with a black straw string bag yeah. and box, and of course was made in the gold USA. There it is. Finally, this flipper is only $179.99. Oops. At langknife.com. That's cheap plug number one. Falling for him already. Okay. Free shipping, no sales tax, stickers. <laughs> Need we say more? Unless you're in Virginia. Okay, so I'll let you go first. What do you think of the Buck Paradigm? Well, look, I was on Buck, the Buck bandwagon last week. He was hopping on it. And I'm not getting off this week. Sounds all, When you lead with that, it sounds like you're hopping off. Not yet. I'm not... I, I like this knife. I'm not in love with it. Well, that's pretty good. I'll I, I like the wife. idea, but I'm a very simple person. A very simple man. I just want it done. I know what look, love is. See this right here? I know what it's for. I flip it open, I close it. You should have seen me trying to open it when I first when I first got one. I was like, oh, this is cool. And I sat here for like five minutes. Like, why isn't it open? Like, is there some button? I'm looking around. I'm like, wait a minute. Is this one with the shift? Yes. So they've done this knife before. With this exact design and name, might I add. It was mm -hmm. called the Buck Paradigm Pro. Now, it was a bit more jazzed up, a little more snazzy. It had a smooth black and blue G10 handle. Bolsters were more like a bee blast, kind of little, looked white, but they weren't. Also had a few issues. The liners were not flush. There was no grippiness because, you know, the G10 was smooth. Uh, edges weren't rounded on the scale. So after a while of hard use, you're going to get a bit of uncomfortability. Mm. Okay. So now <clears throat> this one, liners are flush with the scales. Scales are cut in an angle and rounded off to give some shape while also being comfortable. And yes, it's one of Buck's more pricier models, but you're paying for the assisted opening, all the gear that goes with it, you, the unique bolster lock, as well as the S35 VN steel. So you're getting a lot for what you pay. I would agree to that. So overall, I like it. It's nice. That's great. How about that? Fine. All right, fine. I'm a simple you're, person. You're entitled to, to you. your opinion. That's what it Flip is. Flip it about. and open it and cut it. Some people like it, some people don't, some people think it's okay. It's, it's how the world works. Hey, you know what? I'll make it up on the next one. Next up is... The Buck Cavalier. Wow. Two beautiful pieces from Buck in one week. Can't get any better. Unless it were three. Touche. So the Buck Cavalier is a little more than eight inches overall. It's got a 3.67 CR17 stainless steel drop point blade. Handle is gray anodized aluminum with a carbon fiber black inlay. Blue finish pivot cap and barrel spacer. Hold on one second. 
Really, Tony? In there? You get it? There it is. Yep. Stonewash blade is open with a front flipper stud. Nope. I'm sorry. A flipper stud. There you go. There you go. And it utilizes ball bearings for a smooth, seamless deployment. Lastly, this 2.8 ounce. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Frame lock shows off a satin tip up right carry pocket clip. And it's only $38.84. Atlanticknife.com. That's what I'm talking about now. Definitely, See? definitely. Back on the back man wagon. Oh, now you're back on the oh, yeah. So definitely a slim carry from them. Kind of, you know, C E C R K T C E O type of slim comes to mind. However, I have to say Buck is really snazzing up their blades. I mean, they got these the High Line was good. Mm -hmm. The Revamp Paradigm. This one, they're all well made. They look or are high end because the S35VN and the carbon fiber. I mean, nothing can stop them really. They're all the way up. All right. All right. So here's where I'm at. I like this knife a lot. It kind of reminds me of a Kershaw too. I can't remember which one it is. They all kind of have one of the slim looks to them, but I like this one the best. How about that? You're uh, surprised, aren't you? I am a little surprised because you made it sound like you were jumping off the buck bandwagon. Well, look, it's all proportional to me. This for 170 I would have this. If you said, hey, I'm going to give you one for free, now I'm going to take that one over there and I'm going to sell it and get me one of these and have about 50 bucks extra. That's great. Did you like that? No, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Leads us to our next knife. We know who likes this one. The Kaiser Walnut. <laughs> Why is it called a walnut? absolutely do not know. I don't know. Right now this knife is only available in one option. Black and white. It is 4.72 inch overall with a 1.97 bowler N690 steel sheep's foot blade. Thickness is 0.11. Width is about an inch. Sports lots of jimping. And the blade is deployed with a thumb opening. Now it can be deployed that way However, I know it appears like it could possibly be a front flipper. However, I would say that the lockup is just a little too strong for this. Now, I have tried to flip it with the front flipper style a few times. You're more likely to cut yourself. I mean, however those you want to know, there it is. I mean, I have deployed it that way, but... But you wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. So I'll go put a big warning. Warning. Handle on the slip joint is made of black and white G10. It features a blue pivot cap accent. That's nice. Tip up stainless pocket clip and weighs just 3.03 ounce. So I won't, I won't weigh you down right there. Oh, that's good. It comes with a cleaning cloth and was designed by Mr. J. Now, this is not right. And it is only 59 at alandknife.com. Right. Yeah, you don't get to nickname yourself one letter. That J is reserved for the doctor. That's great. All right. Go ahead. What do I like about this knife? Okay. Well, I actually like a lot about it. Do you? Yes. Really? It kind of reminds me of a little credit card knife, I even thought, though I wouldn't try to stick it in my wallet. They should have made it really thin, because I feel like I, was like, I was like, I would love to stick this in my wallet. You know it would have been cool. Flip it back around, let me see the back side of it real quick. Yeah. Ah, see if it would have done like, uh, what's that, G-Saki? Oh! And made it a money clip. Or done like a, a, a lion steel thing where you can push the pocket clip out so it sits oh, flush inside. Yeah. Yeah. That would have worked too. But I like it the way it is too. Even though I'm not a fan of slip joints, I had to mention it. Kaiser is big on small compact folders, okay? This is just the latest in the lineup. Very similar look to like the Cyber Truck they did. Oh, yeah. Based on the car by Elon Musk. Don't know? throw a rock at this one. Yeah. It's a slip joint, like, but like we said, we're not big fans of those. And I've never heard of Mr. J. He must be just an individual designer just at Kaiser right now. Maybe he's trying to make a name for himself. Mr. J seems like you already did but this is supposed to be like an EDC office knife and I do like the design I like it a lot especially when you close it look at that it's got a great like little rectangular like minimalist look mm -hmm. I love it however I don't love the lockup I think they could have made their own like little compression lock on the back still could have kept the weight down still had a simple look like this but with a better locking system I mm. also think another color option could have been in mind you know oh, something, I bet that's something popping like the the red white and black mini bay mm. though I'm not, I'm not gonna lie the you color have your care yeah color's not gonna stop me from probably getting one because yeah. this is just like and those for the ladies out there at watch Elon is now single oh that's great all right so if well you saw his previous picks I think they'd uh, stay far far away let's go on all to right. the next blade ready oh, okay mm -hmm. Max Ace Goliath 2.0 which comes in several 
options. And I do like those. Really? Huh? You right. didn't know. All right, so there's three different Micarta versions and two G10 ones. Let's get to the best part. The best part? Yeah. This knife is 10.13 inch overall. Let's just marinate on that. Marinate. 10.13. Mm -hmm. This brutish knife has a four and a half inch K110 stainless drop point blade. That's nice. Satin finish, plain edge, flat grind, jimping, and it's about 0.15 thick. So far, I haven't said anything that I don't like. That's crazy. Handle comes in natural micarta. Brown micarta, black G10, white G10, which we don't have, and titanium bolsters ranging from blue to black. So this liner lock also features a tip-up right carry pocket clip. It's also got a zippered stored cage, and there's a cleaning cloth in there. I think it's gray or white or something. I'm not mm -hmm. looking at this time. Blade is deployed on ceramic cage ball or ceramic ball bearings. They're not caged on this. No caging right now. With gym flipper studs, so there it is. Did y'all hear that? Let's just, just do it one more time. Wow. That's nice. Finally, it features a pivot cap accent, barrel spacers. And is only, this is probably the best part, 108 on a land knife dock. All right. Now, well, before you go ahead, I have one thing to say. If you want one of these, you better get it now. <laughs> All right. What do you think? I think Wendy's Colt Brute is going to have a run for its money. I mean, this thing is massive. Amari Colosso's got nothing on this. It's got snazzy accents like the titanium bolster, the matching titanium pocket clip, in addition to its length and its K110 blade, which is part of the great D2 family. Okay, very good at maintaining an edge, mm -hmm. sharp. I think it's an amazing blade for the price. What about you? I'll tell you what, you keep doing that and they'll be sold out before the show's over. Do you hear that? Do, do you see this? It doesn't matter. Look. It feels like I'm almost holding a cold steel Espada right now. It's oh my that God, it's that amazing. huge. Ting. Yeah. Wow. Here, I should probably let you. That's all right. You don't need to have to come on here you by the end of the week. Go ahead. I don't know. There's a look. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> say what you. I'll say just say what you. I'll need just to wait say. till I get my own. <laughs> That's great. I'm gonna have one by tomorrow. So what you're saying is I could definitely shave you my. You know what? I tell you what. Thing. Yes. I tell you what I don't like about it. One thing I don't like about it. Really? You, you know can find something. I don't know why it has a triple. Spacer it looks cool. Yeah, I like double. Are you serious right now? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Are you serious I think right so. now? I'm just in a Wild West bow here Let's right do now. it. Next oh, blade yeah, up. you can shave your legs with that, like oh, you yeah. said. Yeah. 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 Next up is the CJRB Tigress. Oh, wow. But first, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Along with ringing the bell. There you go. So you can be linked to our content, notified when we drop some new videos, and of course, be entered in giveaways. There it is. I know you're all finally, you've been waiting. Here it is. Speaking of giveaways, we're going to announce the winner of the QSP Gannett. All right. On YouTube. Who is none other than... For it. Andrew LaPelle. Andrew LaPelle. Mm -hmm. And over on AK's blog, we've got the winner of the Best Tech Fanga, the incomparable oh. Jimmy Pepperoni Pavone. Mm -hmm. Congrats to you, AKers. Make sure to email salesandlandknife.com to claim your knives. I'm not sure it's actually claim. Uh, <laughs> well, you're going to have to get through the gatekeeper, Wendy. Yeah, so, she's nice. As long as you uh, don't return stuff habitually. <laughs> so, our next giveaways are going to involve Steel Wheel Druids. We're lied to her. Yep, so if you like, share, comment, subscribe, or answer the AK trivia question on AK's blog, you'll be entered to win a Steel Wheel Druid. Which one, you ask? Well, it's whatever druid we happen to pull from the shelf from you. Yep, it's like a what's in the box giveaway. We have druids on the shelf. Yeah. Wow. So make sure to get in on the action. So back to the CJRBs. See? Oh, wow. Okay, well, look, I was really into We're the Goliath. On We're on it. Let's okay. go. Okay. This one I like too. No. Any other week, no. This would have been it. No. All right. Focus, man. Focus. <laughs> Whew. You better be on it. Just get on. So, it. this folder comes in two options: black, white, and black blue. We have both versions here, as you can see. Each is 8.75 inch overall with a 3.75 inch AR RPM nine stainless cleaver sheep's foot modified style Something blade. Something along those lines. That's what we call it. Yeah. We just add it all together. Doesn't matter. <laughs> This is either a stone wash finish or a black PVD 
coated blade, which I normally don't like, but in this case, I do. Wow. Flat grind is deployed with a flipper stud while operating on a ceramic ball bearing. Well, actually more than one. Handles are G10 with the two options we mentioned. Finally, these nano locks have a tip-up pocket clip. Red aluminum jimped backspacers, lanyard holes, pivot cap accent, and they are only $56.95 at AtlanticKnife.com. All right, well, since I can see you're jazzed about this purchase here, go ahead, just... All right. You can grab the blue one, because... What I like about this one so much is it's only half the price of the Goliath. Now, I like this one, but not twice as much. I like it a lot. Are you... I must go... I must mess them all up. There you Start go. Start off. There you go. I've been waiting for this thing for a while. It's a really nice knife. I like how it fits your hand. I'm sure you're going to say the same thing. I feel like I'm knocking people's hats off. And, and the style of the blade. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So, go ahead. No, we'll, we'll let you go ahead. No, you got to tell them up. Fine. I like the new CGRB. Maybe not as much as C, mm -hmm. but it's very cool looking. I love the red aluminum additions. I'm not crazy about the flipper stud on this one, simply because I feel like it's going to cause just a little bit of an issue coming out the pocket. Other than that, mm. I like it. Artisan is once again employing the incredibly budget-friendly AR RPM 9 steel, which which is nice, you know? The curveball, didn't I? Yes. For those who don't know, the steel has corrosion resistance of 14C28, which is pretty high. doesn't corrode easily, while having the hardness of D2. So you'll be able to push it a little push. harder at more difficult tasks. Okay. They're Christians now. Yeah. All right. Does it mean we recommend using it? That's really? They are. Really mean, does, we don't recommend using it as like a pry bar tool. Okay. Mm. Like we would our next piece of gear on the table, the Gerber Lockdown Pry Bar. Well, here we go. What? See, we know what you like to do with your knives. Yep. Some guy on the phone today told me that he took his uh, buck vantage and used it as a pry bar. It <gasps> broke. I'm like, really? No, really? <laughs> it broke? Yeah. You've oh. got to be kidding. All right, okay, so, so this multi tool comes in two different configurations. Yep. This one is the Tactical Onyx Gray one, and then the other driver version is. Silver. I like the name Tactical Onyx Gray. Okay, great. This multifunctional tool is comprised of a two and a half inch plain edge blade with liner locks, scissor, replaceable number 11 blade, like an exacto knife. Yep. File, chisel, large and small flathead driver, nail puller, bottle opener for all those times that you're at the bar at, and you need to open a, open a bottle. At the bar. Yeah. Not out with your wife, you know, no. at a restaurant. You're at the bar and some woman dances up on you. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even know what was you, going on. You apologize. On. You shouldn't have put yourself in that no, position. No, you shouldn't have. All right. <laughs> open length. That's when this knife is actually open. It's 6.62 nice. inch overall. Closed. It's uh, what? About four? four yeah. All right. Weighs 5.7 ounce and features a black pocket clip. And it's only $44.84. At alandknife.com. There we go. All right. All you. Go ahead. What do I like about it? <laughs> I like the exacto knife part. I am big on the... Uh, Are you? I like the sharp, sharp... I think you're full of crap. I can take it open. I can cut a box. I can use the knife anytime I need it. I mean... It's got a liner lock. Yep. Can't beat that. I think it's a great concept like most multi-tools. However, I wouldn't mind just carrying the cool pry bar, to be perfectly honest. It would yep. serve enough purpose to me on its own that I really wouldn't need the rest. I mean, it's a decent all-in-one tool, and they made it look awesome. I just, I like the pry bar part. I got you. All right. Next knife on the table. Pocket it. Is the Cancept Globin. <laughs> Globin. Hemoglobin. Yeah. Goblin. Whoop, whoop. There so, we go. it's offered in six different varieties, all of which are frame locks and are rocking titanium looks. This one is the latest style with the compass design. Ooh. It is 5.75 inches overall, and this compact frame lock also has a jimped 2.25 inch S35VN stainless blade, which can either have a black coated satin finish or stone wash finish. This one is stone washed. All have a blade that's deployed with a thumb hole or front flipper tab and have tip up titanium pocket clips, backspacers, and direct decorative. I can't talk today. It's all right. Accents like blue pocket clips, grooved or cut out handles, or patterns like this one. All come with a black nylon pouch. There it is. Cleaning cloth. 
which is blue. And start at just one thirty-eight sixty at AtlanticKnife.com. Okay, so I like this easy to carry blade. It's stylish, functional. Cansep does not get enough credit. Now I'm not crazy about the front flipper, but you can open it with the thumb opening, so I can't be too upset. They make a lot of good blades, and I think you could probably put this up there with like the Cansep Shard, maybe even the Reich Unicorn. Kaiser Shard, yeah. Yeah, it's that nice looking. It's that high end. I mean, I got no complaints. What do you think? Well, I wasn't there until you said something, but I kind of agree with you on the Cansep thing. I don't really know what to make of them. They have a lot of quality knives, but you don't really think of them when it comes. I mean, we got knives coming from them next week. So, I mean, I like this knife. Very like nice. The design it looks cool. I like it. Kind of reminds me like a Dejo type of style they think would do. Oh, I think that's where I've seen it before is on a Dejo. Gotcha. All right. Well, Dejo doesn't have a moratorium on compass patterns. No, I think somebody else has it too, but I can't remember who it is. Our next Dejo's blades are the crackless. Honey Badgers. <laughs> 1289, 1301, oh, and 1308. No. The numbers game again. <sighs> Come on, guys. You already have Honey Badger Don't Care. Okay? <laughs> Name your knives. Name your knives. It's it not would that help. difficult. Couldn't okay? hurt. It's exactly. It could not hurt. Mm -hmm. So these are all the same style knife today, just in different colors and sizes. So we have a small, medium, and large of this version. They each feature a leaf style blade with extensively close-knit jimping right here. 8CR 13MOV satin finish blade is deployed with either the jimped flipper stud or... Thumb hole. Yep, so I'll show you that one. There it is. Each has a left-right stainless pocket clip, honeycombed glass nylon fiber handle, lanyard hole, jimped back spacer, and comes with a box and a Torx tool. They are offered in black, Blue, green, orange, and tan. Go wow. Ahead. Yeah. And of course, small, medium, and large sizes. The small is six and a half inch overall with a 2.8 inch blade. The medium is 7.2 inch overall with a 3.2 inch blade. And the large is 8.2 inch overall with a 3.6 inch blade. And they start at just $37. At laddingknife.com. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> what do I think, right? What do you think? Yep. Well, here's what I think. I like the knives. They're very nice. They're always nice. But I think at the $37 price point, we're at D2 now. We're not at 8CR anymore. Mm, I don't know if we're at D2. Unless we're Kershaw and we're at 57. But. Stop. Wait a minute. <laughs> so what do you think? I mean, 8CR is fine. Don't get me wrong. It, it, it's, it's a decent budget steal, okay? And I think Honey Badger is having a problem because they're kind of doing very similar knives. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the continuity between the blades and the brand, okay? I get it. Similar look. Got mm -hmm. the honeycomb pattern. I, it's, it's Honey Badger. I got it. Cute little Honey Badger on the pocket clip. I love it. I just think they didn't do enough different to set it apart from either their other knives or other people's. I mean, I mean look at this. Mm. It's, it's just, it's, there's not enough pop to say, oh, I gotta have it. It's, well, I need a knife, maybe I'll pick up this one. But that's if they, they gotta get their name out there. They okay? don't leave you wanting it. I mean, they do give you lots of color options. That's yep. great. And I love that you can choose a different size. You know, if you want a slightly smaller one to fit in your pocket or if you want the heavy, the larger one, I get it. They just need to do something different. Yeah, that's you look at it. You got this. And how is this any different from the Elementum? But it is different. It is. Because everybody loves the Elementum. Yeah. But three different sizes yeah and it's budget i got it real real budget i mean seven dollars right. you can pick, pick up this this knife i, I mean i think on. the mini elementum is probably a little more yeah <laughs> that leads us to our final blade on the table yep i know somebody's been waiting for this one it's the williamson copenhagen chibs also yes. available in multiple colors and models we have the gray and black liner lock version here there are a few with frame locks as well just keep that in mind so our liner lock one comes in this color the gray and black along with a tan mix and a green mix it is 8.5 inches overall with an almost three and a half inch two-tone sandvik 14c steel blade black and gray g10 handle black finished liners and hardware along with the right carry pocket clip with what's that ladies and gentlemen the name of the knife that is nice Look at that. Mm -hmm. oh my gosh okay williamson you are now on my nice list as mm -hmm. it comes with a lefty pocket clip as well All and right. finally, finally finally the jimped blade is deployed with a jimped flipper stud or thumb hole if you want 
There's a gemmed black finish backspacer lanyard hole, along with other additions like a mesh pouch. Hold on. I had, to show, them, I had to show them both. And Torx tool. There Call it is. out. All starting for the low, low, low price of $79.84. Landknife.com. There it is. Okay, I'm going to go first. Do it. This thing is awesome. Sandvik is high end steel. Just, it's not popular in the U.S. market. Fail. I'm sorry. I had, right. I had to do it to myself. But we can make it happen, guys. We can, we can do it together, Williamson. We can make Sandvik big, okay? I love the name in the pocket clip. Love the style of the blade, the cool handle, the options, and of course, the extras like the lefty pocket clip, okay? And maybe, you know, the patch. The patch for me and. A mesh carrying bag for me. <coughs> right. See, you can take it away. Hey, I like this knife too. Not really take it away. Don't um, take it away. It, Just talk about it over there. The blade, I like the design of it. I like the handle. It could be a little bit different color for me, but other than that, very nice knife. I'm not a hater on 14C28. It sounds like you a hater on the black and white going on here, no? Just not my style. Mm, it's not. It's like we're streaking through space. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more Doppler effect, but all right. Well, that was our final blade. Don't listen to him. This is a great knife. Final Blade A Cares. We'll tell you our favorites right after you hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. And ring the bell. So you can always reach our content and be entered in get your giveaways. Mm -hmm. Also, head on to Abe K's blog and answer the trivia question. Do both. Doesn't matter. You double your chances of winning a steel wheel druid. Which one? Anyone is possible. All right. We're also on social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Instagram, and Rumble. Check us out on those for re review videos, giveaways, knife photos, and more. Okay. Favorite knife, go. Favorite knife, Goliath. Oh, like, well, you know what? I thought this one was going to be in the running. I guess not. So I... Any other week. Any other week, really? Yep. Okay, so I did like the, the pry bar tool, mm -hmm. and I like this one. Yeah. I'm getting it as soon as I can scrape I'll some, get it for you. some of my gambling winnings together. Wendy, you still owe me. Max Ace, monstrously massive, okay? Look at this. And since someone else didn't go with it, I'm going with the Williamson Chubbs. Like we didn't see that one coming. Like Chubbs lose a hand, I would lose a hand for this knife. We'll see you at Cares next week when we do our thing and bring out our newest gear and knives. As always, I'm C, and this is Joel. Just Joel, and we are signing off.